Hello and welcome. It is uh, Tuesday and it's the 6th of February 2024 and this is my first vlog of the month. And what can I tell you about today? Well, it's the 37th day of the year. And on this day in 1952, Queen Elizabeth II ascended the throne after the passing of her father, King George VI. And of course, this morning we hear the news that King Charles has been diagnosed with cancer and is taking a bit of time off uh, so he can have treatment. A worrying time for all families who have members with the big C. Uh, it is very good, in my opinion, that the King has told everybody and hopefully that will bring awareness to this uh, terrible uh, condition and encourage others to actually take early opportunities to be tested. Uh, it is not all doom and gloom for him, of course. Uh, my mother had cancer in uh, 2012, and she had to have a major operation. It took her nearly a year to recover, so that's how bad the operation was. But she recovered and uh, lasted a good 10 years, passing in December 22. And um, so let's just wish the king well and not bang on about it too much. Well, thank you for listening. I'm very pleased that you do. And if you do enjoy my vlogs, please encourage others to subscribe and share. Now, many of you have written to me in recent weeks saying that you have feelings of despair about the future and what it holds for us. The news is full of doom and gloom and destruction, murder and mayhem, crime and corruption. And on top of that, it's an election year and you feel politically orphaned. All I can say is please put this down to the Christmas blues. The festive season was full of hope and good cheer and now it's over. Rest assured, there was still room for hope and optimism. Don't get me wrong, certain aggressive events in the world beggar belief. My heart goes out to all those who are in war-torn areas and to those who are having to cope with floods and uh, heat waves and everything else that Mother Nature throws at us. My uh, grandparents uh, used to say, find a silver lining. Sometimes it can be difficult, but look for it. There is always a silver lining. And I'm constantly amazed, actually, of all the reports uh, for adults and children who have the courage to try and help others who are in danger and in absolute need. Natural instinct is the answer to this. It is natural instinct for human beings to help and be kind to each other. And at times I think some politicians need to be reminded of this. So how do you keep your spirits up? Now, as for me, I consider myself very lucky, very lucky indeed, uh, to enjoy my work. And there's the old adage, if you give a job to someone who loves what they're doing, they'll never have a job again. Well, uh, no matter what job you have, there are certain aspects of it which will always be challenging. But in the main, I agree with this sentiment. Thanks to Doctor Who and other projects, I have a definite fan base. It's amazing and at times overwhelming. The idea that people take time to contact me and follow me is very humbling and that helps keep me going. Being a fan of Doctor Who for so long, the sound of the theme tune, hearing the voices of the Doctor and the Doctor's past, and of course the crunching noise of the TARDIS, are very emotional. <clears throat> Sorry. Being associated with Doctor Who, I often say how I felt when I first saw the Stardis standing in a studio. It was lit from above and there was a faint hint of dry ice. It was wonderful. And I was taken aback when I felt myself shedding a tear. Added to this, thanks to Matt Smith, I got to sit inside the TARDIS. And Matt Smith and I spent time uh, playing with the console. 
such fun memories. And this is an answer I put to everybody. And I say it's a secret, but it's not really. Just try and build fun memories. Memories of fun. They keep you going when you're feeling low. And they can help you remember that there were good times and encourage you to realise that there can be more good times and better times to come. Well, thank you again for listening. Until the next time, toodle pip.